Today we're talking about the pros and cons of living in Regina, Saskatchewan. We'll cover how Regina offers significant cost savings compared to cities like Toronto and how its economy is supported by technology and energy industries. But it's not without its challenges, so stay tuned to find out why. If you're thinking of a move to Saskatchewan, send me an email. My info is in the description below. I did a similar video on this recently talking about how affordable Saskatchewan is compared to other cities. But if you look at cities like Toronto, it could easily cost you close to $9,000 to live this similar lifestyle to what you would in Regina, Saskatchewan for significantly less. For example, consumer goods in Toronto would be about 40% higher than they would be here in Saskatchewan and rent prices would be close to triple the price of what they are here in Saskatchewan and not to mention the type of product that you would end up getting in terms of rent as compared to what you would get here for a similar price. The economic stability here in Saskatchewan and specifically in Regina is diverse because of the industries we have here for employment opportunities in government, education and healthcare. In Regina specifically, we have an aquatic center coming up, an event center, three canola crushing plants, a pulp mill, a biodiesel plant, and an Amazon warehouse that's being talked about in the Regina area as well. Regina is the capital city of Saskatchewan, and we have a very bright future for what it looks like on the business development side of things as well. If you combine all those projects together, that is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of development coming to the southern part of Saskatchewan's economy. Regina also has a very rich art and cultural scene in the area. There's a great fine arts community in the University of Regina as well as the theater district. We have Regina Little Theater being one of the oldest continuing theaters in the country. We also have the Globe Theater and Regina Symphony Orchestra. If you're not familiar with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, it is one of the oldest franchises and professionally owned sports teams in the country. Everybody here in Saskatchewan is known for bleeding green because everybody is such a huge rider fan. It really is part of the culture. Matter of fact, you'll even see rough rider license plates everywhere you go in Saskatchewan. And the home base for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders is of course in Regina. We call it Rider Nation. And even if you're not from Saskatchewan, everybody in Canada is probably well aware of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders because it is the one thing that we are known for and that we are famous for even if our football team is not very good we are all super fans here in Saskatchewan to the Rough Riders. In Regina you of course have the University of Regina as well as the First Nations University. The First Nations University is uniquely positioned as Canada's only national First Nations owned post-secondary institution to my knowledge that specializes in indigenous education, bringing traditional knowledge with academic learning. The University of Regina is recognized for its programs in journalism, engineering, health sciences, and environmental studies. If you are thinking of a move to Saskatoon, you will notice that there are extreme weather conditions here in this province. And that means that we do get four seasons. But that also means that when I hear people complaining about how cold it is down south, and I show them a Google report from the weather in our area at the coldest time of the year, it will literally say above the temperature extreme cold warning. Yes, that is part of the forecast here in our province. However, I will say that it is a dry cold, which makes it a whole lot more bearable. But if you're not used to that, many newcomers that come to Saskatchewan will soon realize that they need to buy a whole bunch more winter clothes, which is okay. But we also have very, very hot summers, but you will enjoy every day is different. And they say in Saskatchewan, if you don't like the weather, just wait an hour. The nightlife in Regina is also not that hot. I'm just going to be completely honest. We are known for a modest nightlife in our province, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because there are so many other things to do. But don't ask me what those are. Now, although yes, we do have a very diverse economy here in Saskatchewan, you'll also find that there are cyclical portions of the market when it comes to, of course, the energy industry and the farming industry. So as much as we do have a wide variety of industries, we also do fall victim to the cyclical 
ups and downs of what happens in the market. Although I will say, because we have so many supporting markets, that if one thing's not doing so well, usually another area of the market is doing well, be it potash or be it uranium, etc. Some people don't like the bald prairie and I actually grew up in the mountains. And what I can say is that there is beauty to all of Earth's landscapes, even in the prairies. And the wide open sunny sky is something that really does grow on you over time. And even when you're in the city, when you make the drive out of town to be at a small town or a farm, etc., it really is a wonderful drive, especially on a sunny day to really just sit in and enjoy the Saskatchewan landscape and of course Regina and or Saskatoon and or Saskatchewan in general is what's known as the middle of nowhere. When I'm explaining where I live to Americans what I say is we are north of North Dakota meaning we are just outside of the middle of nowhere. And I half jokingly say that because most Americans look at North Dakota as the middle of nowhere and we are just north of there. But what I will say is that from Regina, Calgary is about eight hours, maybe seven and a half hours. And then Winnipeg going in the other direction is about close to six hours where Saskatoon is maybe two and a half hours north. But of course you're still within the same province. So when you're looking at Canada and Canadian prairies in general, comparing it to other countries, when you speak to people from the US or you speak to people from Europe, you'll say, wow, I would have crossed three states by that time. I would have crossed three countries by that time to drive from Calgary to Winnipeg, which is just essentially across the province of Saskatchewan. I will say though that Regina is found on the number one Canadian highway, the main highway that goes across the whole country where Saskatoon is not. Hope you found some value today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're thinking of a move in Saskatchewan, send me an email. My info is in the description below. And otherwise, I will see you on this video next. Have a fantastic day.